Okay, hi guys, let's jump straight into uh, playing Genshin. Yes, you can relax. Believe me, Master is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that she's going to be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarverville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru. Okay, so in Genshin Impact, they forest. say that every region yeah, is based off of uh, an actual place. So, I mean, I'm hearing Indian music being played. So, I guess we're going back to my roots. I guess we're going back to India. So, I mean, Sumeru must be... Let's say channeling them, really. yeah? So Sumeru really? should be based on India. Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Not the more medicine. Listen, I'm currently on this herbal situation and i have to take like about six seven bottles of these let's say tonics Holly, what's the matter every day were you trying to retrieve twice the a day and so it's, it's just not the vibe you, you must be careful okay it's not these. the vibe but I'll i mean the commitment i admire the commitment Sorry, of other master. people can do this kind of stuff it's crazy uh, now the guide to Avidia Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board, but if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like, right smack on his forehead. Oh gosh, so I know the taste of that careful. well. I don't know if anybody right. else has ever this tried herbal medication, but I have, what and it's really, really yes, is not pleasing do. to the taste buds, you know. If Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to... Wow, his ears. That drop must have hurt him. It had to. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? Oh, this is my master. Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, uh, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as Spirit Borneal to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. In, in hopes just of asking out of curiosity, did we just get high? Named Hapasia in cave. The incense you smelled inside was the Spirit Borneal I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences, or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kale? Let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here. Huh? W why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gandarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong. Wow. I wow. Classic. Classic. The of the so this guy just once doesn't I believe us. Everything. He doesn't. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of sh**. 
If you're skeptical, my mental state this. is not in the best shape. Like Whoa. it's never been okay? okay, but uh, this is, a, you d is when you I'm not crazy. Out. So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop ha Hmm. Good. Now, continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. <sighs> Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Literally my life, I'm on. Literally. When I think it's going good, it just crumbles. You really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? I currently I'm feel judged. Weird. I feel gaslit, okay? All the anger I've had from going to hospitals to hospitals and having... And somebody just like this miss you is, a, you know, it's a reopening wounds. I, I didn't sign up to be hurt today. Okay, I just came on to, to do cozy girl situation, not to be hurt. Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But, if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucination. But, it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Yeah, it's best we divide and conquer. Rise and shine! Come on, it's time to go find Kali! Okay, hi everyone. I am not the guide you need. If you need help with Genshin Impact, and you actually want to take the game seriously, this is not the channel for that, okay? I'm turning Genshin Impact into the Cozy Girl Game Edition. This is what you're getting. You're gonna watch me fail at figuring things out. You're gonna see many pauses for me to YouTube how to actually do puzzles. And once in a while when I'm just unable to do anything because I am the girl who can barely jump. Okay, I'm not the I'm not the serious gamer girl. I'm the girl who fails at jumping. Okay, so uh, you might even hear my brother come in to try and uh, help me. Okay, that's how we get to next level. Sometimes we need help. And I'm currently in Sumu, and I'm going to be taking you guys on this adventure with me. Okay, so I'm ready to explore. Not much has changed from the first time I've shown you guys my characters. Everybody's still the same. Nothing has been upgraded. No, nobody is in health. There are no new artifacts, no new weapons. I'm doing the same damage. Uh, that should be it. We're ready. So as you guys can tell, I'm pretty far behind. I didn't even get to do some of these quests because I was busy doing the rose and muskets situation and i really love that one pretty much these card games i don't play them at all maybe i'm just so bad at it but i can't get my head around how to handle that situation like uh, I, I read the tutorial you know they promised me free primal gems if i did it but that did not work out so i just did not go back to it but Maybe I'll learn it. Maybe with your help, you guys can just like drop down some info on that card game. And uh, 
these are all of the quests that I'm still supposed to be doing. And eventually, I will also get to that. You know, we all need 40 Primal Gems, 50. With this kind of situation that Genshin is... Uh, we know what Genshin is doing. We, we saw what our anniversary gift was. I shouldn't even say any more on that. So, these are my characters. Like, I just got Akaya. No, Ayaka. Yes, I just got her. Love her. Love her very much. I am going to build her. Also, this, this one right here, I call Boba. Yup, she carries my entire team. Okay, I'm never giving her up. Although we have really bad artifacts, like, there is this recommendation set that comes in the game now. Which is pretty cool because I am a lost cause when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I'd say I'm doing an okay amount of damage. Just an okay amount because I saw like my boyfriend's account. His own. His damage was something else, you know. And when I was watching him attack, I always assume if um, like the attacks, like if the, uh, the numbers came in a certain color, like say they hit orange. I assume that means that I've just like hit them with major damage like crit rate the kind of situation but turns out turns out that the uh, the number colors is based on the element of the character I hope that's right that's just been a recent observation I've made so I could have been using boba this whole time and oh, hitting an orange and not realizing that I'm actually not doing that much damage. I'm not doing crit rate. Is just her color for attacks. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the delusional situation and tell myself that I'm doing great in this. Yeah, I'm getting all the crit rate needed. Everybody who's like at forty, they're relatively new, and I just not have built. Like if you are at sixty at least in my game or you know let's no chi chi yeah i try to build chi chi okay i tried to build chi chi she was going to be my main and um i was told not to because uh, the internet is against it so i pulled for ayaka instead i also pull, pulled for hmm. yao Neo, i think is her name yeah, I also pulled for her, and uh, I, I assume it would be badass, yes, but I have no idea how to control her. I'm best with a sword. As you can see, my Noelle is at level 70. I'm trying my best to get her her artifacts because that's my heavy hitter. Okay, she's on my team since day one. Sadly, I never got more than... I, I didn't even get a constellation for her. But maybe if they run her banner again, hopefully they run her banner again, I can get all the consolations that I need for her and she'll be unstoppable. Okay, let us head to exploring now. Elazar is a truly troublesome illness. All right, next, let's see your right hand. Hmm, not bad. Uh, but please remember that you still need to be careful. Under <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Uh, feeling any better? Yeah, since I'll be staying here.
here for now. We thought we might as well try like. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? Hmm. In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gandarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Got it! I'll be right there! All right. We'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing? Tanari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but... Uh, oh gosh, I hope they don't really give us to clean the statue right? again. Those like monster well, days. Responsibilities can be you know what, this is how they're trying to trick us, to tell us that it's okay for us to be helping every and anybody do anything ever. Maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, Traveler, this way! You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me! In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual! Okay, so which, which way do I go? Which way am I heading? <laughs> okay, okay, I think I found the way. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna see if I can get that viewpoint first. Who's this guy? Ooh. Taking the path through the chasm to Sumeru was a bad idea. I agree because I too thought it would have been a shortcut and it was not, okay? I still have quests in the chasm that needs to be done. I can't find how to get the second key. I got one key. I'm, I'm stuck at the second key. So, we're gonna have to go back to that soon, one day. Okay, so currently they kind of seem like they have two gods. Two. A lesser... And the de and the dendro? No, a lesser and a greater god. Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out slowly, I guess. Now, what exactly are the lamps that they're talking about here? Oh, no problems with the lamps. Good. Oh, is it is it this this tree thing? Probably. Okay, I'm finally here. The statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Okay, first of all, who who puts well, this I'm man all the way up there? Like, what is the purpose of There's putting him all the way up there? The statue, so be it, it just doesn't seem right. My climbing skills are gonna have to, way, to start activating. Do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanop? Huh? Great. Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh, uh... I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. 
I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two stranger. <laughs> because you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new per- There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. Oh guys, so this is me, Hoyo. Well, well, this is them trying to sell us Amber once again. Okay, we can't forget about Amber. She really was who we started off with. Okay, gotta give her credit. This sounds like she has a little crush on Amber. That's cute. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, Harmon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just. <laughs> it's all right, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it- Ah, so that's how you knew! Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really, I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's alright. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surasthana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm, so that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, we have a step. You both have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Okay, now which part exactly am I supposed to climb? Okay, okay, it has to be this. Yeah, yep, yeah, this is it. Um, I had, when I first entered Sumeru, those little glowing things had helped me, like, um, like, teleport, let's say? It had helped me jump from one area to another, but I don't see it, like, activating right now. So I guess I'm just gonna have to to just do this normal. I'm gonna have to show my skills right now. Hmm. Can I fly there? If I fly onto it or something. Hmm. That didn't work. Yeah, nothing nothing is charging up. So there must be a method to this. Let me let me just go back to climbing then. I'm gonna use the tallest person I have. Logically, that should cut me out sometime. That should that should work. Huh? Now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is. Kinda small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything. Yeah, it has to be the lesser god. I mean, she's small. Has to be. Nice work. 
Okay, let's see if I collected anything to actually give this statue. No, no, not one thing. Okay. We're just gonna have to collect one, hopefully. Oh, okay. Maybe that glowing thing I saw just now was one. Maybe I could get that. I mean, couldn't they have built a ladder up to the statue? Like, what really was the point of having it all the way there? Unless I was supposed to learn how to control the zappy teleportation situation. Now that would make sense. But for for the, the people who have not cracked that code as yet, a ladder would have been nice. Yay! Food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiang Ling taught Paim on that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. Uh, wh whoops! Ah, no! You dropped it! Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, <sighs> Paima nearly had a heart attack there. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paima wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So... Kale, don't you think that Tainari is a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paima knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but she's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. But Master is actually very kind at heart. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> I know, right? They've always wanted to pet them, too. Anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the Academia. But he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher, helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make Pita Pocket. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling. Why, oh why? Is she going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> hey! Now even Kali's starting to laugh. Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! No! Don't touch me! Kale? Uh, no, I, I just... Uh, uh, Kale? Fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, 
well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Huh? What was up with Kai just now? Yeah, but I missed it because my timer cut off, but she tripped out. Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. <laughs> Okay, I see some shiny things over there. Okay, so one of those probably, ha maybe even two of those, probably has to be the, uh, uh, what are those things called that I give to the statue? See these? It has to be like one of those things, right? So let's try and get that before I close this off. Because at least we gotta end on a good note. I mean, we kind of just scared a girl away. I thought I was having, I thought we were having a blast. We were being friends. It was going good. So let's just try and collect this situation over here before I head back to the village. Okay. Um, okay. Classic. Let's go again. Okay, this time, this time I'm going to plan going up. Oh, there's stairs. Okay, never mind. There's no need to plan. Sometimes I play this game a little bit too hard. Mm. Okay, now that's... Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have to give up on that because none of them was the, the thing I was hoping for it to be. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that. Yeah, so I'm back at the village. Without accomplishing much. Well, at least, at least we can just like... We can see what's up with her. And she's not in here either. Okay, I guess I misjudged where the... Lower. It says lower. Okay, let's do that. Ah, Traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back! Uh... Oh. Kale? Yes. I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Okay, so I have to wait till 8 o'clock before I could talk to her again. But for now, I'm going to leave my adventure here. And uh, I'll probably just be exploring next time before I go meet with her. So... Just in that case, see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe so I can continue this.